Hey, this is Iris. And this is Jamie. And this is the Girl We Have to Talk podcast, where we will be discussing friendships, relationships, fitness, and whatever other bullshit comes to mind every other week. So I have had this podcast for on and off, well, really just on, and then I took a six-month break. I only just realized that I didn't record anything for six months. Um, Started this year. And so... Jamie was one of my guests, and she was so good that I wanted her to be a permanent part of the podcast. So we're recording this little trailer to give you an idea of what you can expect and just get you introduced and warmed up to Jamie. So, Jamie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, I wasn't prepared to tell something about myself. Um, I'm Jamie. Uh, I live in Chicago. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. Okay. I know. I'm in my 30s. Uh, I have oh, a dog. Okay. All, right. I love. all right, all right, what, what all right. What am I supposed to say about that? <laughs> Nothing. That that was good. <laughs> that was good. So everyone, Jamie's in her thirties. She lives in Chicago. And she has a dog. That's that's it. That's all you need to know. Uh, <laughs> I feel like the one reason that I thought it would be good for you to be on this podcast is because you are okay. Are you a licensed psychotherapist? Is that right? I'm a licensed clinical social worker. Oh. Um, uh, the other title people sometimes use is psychotherapist so that it discriminates us from other types of therapists like occupational, physical oh. therapist. So, yeah. Okay. And, and yeah, okay. I was awesome on that recording we did. I agree with that. I you think were, that's yes. another good reason. Yes, you were awesome on the recording. And yeah. also, like, you have an expert opinion on many things. So I thought that this would be great. You enjoyed doing yeah. it. I enjoyed recording yes. with you. So we yeah. were just like, let's do this. Let's make this into a part-time thing. It's like, yeah. um, so anyway, we wanted to talk today. This episode is going to be recorded and released. Well, it's going to be released. It's being recorded a little bit earlier, but it's going to be released um, on December 22nd. So today, if you're listening to this today that it was released, um, and today is the first day of Hanukkah. And it's three days until Christmas. So we decided that our trailer episode should be about the holidays. And how much they suck. Okay. So we were talking about this earlier <laughs> about whether, like, about people who like the holidays. Do you know that I like the holidays? I didn't want to tell you that because I wanted to wait for this moment. I feel like I actually did know that you like the holidays. You but <laughs> you are a type, I know you well enough that I'm not surprised at all. Okay. Like yeah. we were talking about it, I actually was like, I'm pretty sure she likes it, but she's not saying anything. I, so I, that's yeah. how well I know you. I didn't agree or disagree. I was like, huh, okay. I, I like the holidays because like there's good food. I love cookies, which Christian people we have do do, do Jamie's Jewish. Do Jewish yeah, so people that's part have... of the reason <laughs> yeah. why I don't like this time of year because most Jews know that Christmas is not, or Hanukkah is not as good as Christmas. It, I mean, I feel like it could not be as just as good. Right. That's the yeah. thing. It's not as commercialized. I feel like Hanukkah is just as fun. You get seven gifts, right? Yeah, but okay, this is a well-known fact that like most of them are not great gifts. So you get like a, maybe a few good gifts and then you get socks and like other stuff. Because you just can't get seven really good gifts. I mean, but if you are celebrating Christmas, you probably also don't get seven good gifts. You probably still get, like, one right. good gift. No, it's true, and you just do it all at once, so you don't realize that most of them are bad gifts, right? Yeah. But when you have it, like, every night, it's, I, I don't know. To, to just linger, linger on the fact that you don't yeah. like any of the shit that you're getting? Right, and honestly, I mean, I'm pretty sure that, ha- like, the whole gift-giving part is totally made up because of Christmas. Because Jewish uh, yeah. kids They're like, were probably okay. really upset. Yeah. Like, this and so is they were like, oh, yeah, well, you know, when they made that, like, oil last seven nights or was it eight nights or seven nights? I should know this. I don't. I, um, you know, they also gave presents. I mean, that's not, <laughs> it's nothing to do with the story. I mean, I don't, I don't know the story, but I feel like seven gifts is, I mean, nobody gave Jesus a gift. So I feel well, like, well, I mean, I couldn't tell you very much about the story, but I do know that they had oil that was supposed to light a lamp for, it was only supposed to last one night and it lasted many more nights. And that was very joyous that that happened. Well, I feel like that's a beautiful story. I think it's nice that you get seven gifts. The one thing I think that people who do celebrate Hanukkah need to kind of work Wait. on now what? I'm thinking it's eight, because isn't it eight crazy nights? 
It yes. Might be. Wait. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. We can investigate this, and we'll talk a little bit this more about that. This is so sad. Too. I don't know this. I'm so sorry for all That's... the Jewish people out there because I don't, <laughs> I don't represent a representative. Or I'm Jewish. You know, I'm not like a good Jew. That's so. okay. You're a great Jewish person in my uh, opinion. Then if my mom watches this, she's going to be like, oy vey. Ooh, that's a good one. I like it when people at my work say that. <laughs> oh, we should also say that Irish war actually works with a lot of Jewish people. So she sometimes <laughs> knows more than I do. About well, Judaism. I work with a lot of Orthodox people, so they tell me all the things. They're like, let me tell you about all of this different stuff. And I just try not to question it. Because I think if you're Christian and you work with a bunch of Jewish people and you're just like, well, why do you do this? And like, how, why, what is this? And why is this? I feel like that's disrespectful. So I just take it in. And I believe, I believe that, that that's what happened. Mm-hmm. Actually, I mean, honestly, like, if you look at Christianity and Judaism and Muslim, it's all, like, kind of the same story. Oh, it's, it's just absolutely like, the same. It's just, like, we yeah. like certain we all, we all, story, yeah. like, all more than you did. Yeah. No, like, it's we, true. we were like, oh, this is the, this is the peak of the story. And you guys were like, no, 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 no. Like, yeah. the Savior hasn't come yet. We are but not. But the funny thing is, <laughs> it's like. You know, when you ask, like, a lot of people are always like, oh, you don't know, like, your faith or whatever, which I I don't really recognize it as my faith. I see it more culturally. But it's like Christians don't know either. It's just nobody asks because they're the majority. Like, do you know the story of Christmas? Uh, Okay, so wait a second. Hold on. Let me reflect upon this. So I think what has what happened is there were three wise men. They walked um, across a desert Mm -hmm. and then they found Mary inside of a, um, like a thing. I know the name of it. Yes. They found her in the major. Yep. Yeah. Um, and, uh, then they were like, she's having a baby and she's a virgin. And then she had Jesus. And then that was his guy with her too. Joseph. Yeah. Her husband bless him because that's a brave. Okay. So tell me what that has to do with presents. And a Christmas tree and Santa so here's, Claus. Okay, first of all. <laughs> See? Okay, but nothing. But, Saint, okay, so Santa Claus is an actual person. That's the thing is, like, St. Nick is an actual person uh-huh. who yes. would give gifts to people okay. around Christmas. Now, I think, like, I can tell you why I think we get gifts on Christmas because – Christian people believe that Jesus Christ is our savior. And if somebody was that he gave his life for you to be forgiven for your sins so that we could still exist mm-hmm. on earth. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if somebody so he did say, that, so people could have gifts, right? That was... Okay. Listen, let me explain to you. So okay. Sorry. I is... think really. <laughs> no, let me tell you, let me explain to you what I think happened. So what I think happened is that you think to yourself, like, what is the greatest gift ever? It could be mm-hmm. like somebody dying for your sins. So basically, mm, yeah. now we just give each other gifts on Christmas. That's why. Yeah. But it's like, a way of honestly, saying we're thankful for each other. I mean, that's, that's kind of, I kind of like looking at it that way. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that that's true. I just made, that's what I, that's what Christmas means to me. Also though, like I love giving back like every year for Christmas this year, we went and we got three little gift tickets off of mm-hmm. the Christmas tree at Lincolnwood. Oh and we yeah. Got, yeah. And so we do fun. that and we'd buy lunches and dinners for people and then we volunteer. So I like to, I, I like to give back at Christmas. Yeah. Like to, yes. Yeah. So for me, that's, do you, you know, know what I that? do around this time of year? have Chinese food <laughs> nothing I don't give gifts I don't like well it, you can I want to volu- say I want to say that I give to charity but I really yeah but I, I mean know. you know I so for my work like I'm a, I work at the Jewish organization in which I am the head of the culture and engagement committee because I know everything about Jewish culture so that's why yeah. I'm in charge <laughs> um so anyway, but for my for the committee, we are doing some we're doing service days for Passover. So if you ever if you want to do some service work during Passover, I think that's like more like Christians. I think we do that during Christmas. Mm-hmm. I don't really know a lot of people who volunteer as much over Easter. I think we just basically like punish ourselves during Christ- <laughs> during Easter um, instead of giving back. I think we Christmas is the time of giving, but it seems like for Jewish people, maybe it's like more Passover. Does that sound right to you? Uh, yes, yeah, that would make sense. I, I don't know that that's what was done like in the circles that I knew, but I mean, you know, we didn't really, 
I didn't really do a lot of volunteering growing up, which I is unfortunate because I really do like volunteering. That's what I was going to say. I was like, you seem like such a person who would volunteer. I I know. Well, I just actually signed up to volunteer for a presidential campaign. I won't say who, so we don't have to get political, but. um, Ooh, I don't even know who's. That's a, I'm going to think about my guests inside of my head. Oh, you know who it is. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to think about it. Well, actually this, I don't know. I think, yeah, I think most people would know. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I really, I do. It's, it's such a, an important value to me, but I always forget about it to, you know, or I like go, I go to the orientation and then I never actually volunteer. Well, I love volunteering. So if you ever want a volunteer partner, please know. Yeah. Okay, so- cool. Yeah. That's like a huge thing for me. Okay. I, well, I do want to volunteer at the rescue that I got Maya from. Okay. I would do that. I love dogs. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so that was so. Okay, we talked about the holidays. We don't yeah. want to take up too much time during this t- uh, oh, little okay. trailer. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, we better stop. So we talked about the holidays. <laughs> oh, I was just thinking how I've been such a jerk this entire time. So people are really going to want to listen to me in upcoming podcasts. I don't feel like you were a jerk though. Like I, it's I mean, just I really my don't own feel... stuff. It's fine. Yeah. I'll be fine. Just yes, yes. Yeah. You're yeah. you're you're fine. You're just fine. But okay, before we end our little trailer. Mm-hmm. The, introduction to Jamie I wanted us to have like at least five minutes because okay so basically how our podcast will go is we're going to do exactly what we just did we'll have a topic we'll talk about it um tell both of our perspectives which are usually like a little bit different for instance I love holidays she doesn't um I'm obviously a good person she's clearly not I'm just kidding Mm -hmm. (laughs) no I (laughs) think that's pretty clear I'm I'm fine (laughs) you know what I'm I'm totally cool being the villain being the villain is fun (laughs) Are you the Loki of the Marvel? Oh, do you watch Marvel? <laughs> uh, sort of. I I do know who Loki is. But yeah, I, yeah, I like that. That's that is actually yes, I will be Loki because he ends up being good. In yeah, the- he's like a lovable bad guy. He's my favorite. Right. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, so we'll, we'll do a little bit of that. And then um, most of the time, though, I think this is just like the exception this episode, because I think most of the time Jamie's going to be the one who's like, give them a chance. And I'm like, no, fuck them. You should just, you know, never talk to them again. And, you know, maybe yeah. call the police and report them as a drug dealer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but so we'll do that. And then we will have questions. So like a big part of my last podcast is that we had questions from people or I had questions and then my guest and I would talk about them. So we will do that here as well. Um, But this time, Jamie actually is a professional. So her advice might be like actual advice rather than just (laughs) random shit. Okay. But you, but you're, you work in HR. So I yeah, think yeah, you yeah. have a really good perspective as well. And you also I do. Like, have lots of life experience outside of that, too. Do you so. know? Okay, so funny. Okay, I don't want to get caught up in this. But funny mm-hmm. enough, when you say that you have lots of life experience, it makes me feel like Mary Magdalene. Like, you are the horror of this episode <laughs> because you have life experience. Do you notice how people use life experience as a euphemism for saying somebody's a slut? Is that just me? Or do you even know who Mary Magdalene is because you're Jewish? Maybe not. I'm trying to think of who that is. She's the prostitute that Jesus invited to dinner. Okay, we're back. Um, (laughs) I'm going to just, I'm still, I'm going to acknowledge the fact that your dog hung up on me. Uh, Yeah, no, I think this is a perfect (laughs) example of what this show is going to be about. (laughs) Okay, so. So anyway, so what we're saying is that Jay has experience, I have experience, I'm a life whore. That's all. And that's um, not what I was saying. I, sure. I didn't know about that. <laughs> okay. I so didn't. We're gonna, I, sure. So we're going to do that. <laughs> and then we're going to talk about, uh, we'll answer the questions. We'll have a little brief conversation. And then if we have time, we can talk a little bit about celebrity shit. So like, I feel like I know a lot of it. And then, then Jamie will text me something that I'm like, oh, that happened like five months ago, but that's fine. Cause I still want to talk about it. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't talk about this with you intentionally because I wanted to talk oh. about it on the podcast. Oh, great. Um, okay. Yes. Okay. So today Jamie texted me and well, okay. So this today is, is probably going to be a few weeks ago when you guys listen to this, Jamie texted, which really doesn't make a difference because this has been going on for so long. That yeah. 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 But anyway, so Jamie texts me and she's like, what the fuck is wrong with Tristan Thomas? So t- Jamie, tell us, what did you discover today? 
Uh, I discovered today I was like in Yahoo or something trying to open, like go to a new web page and it always goes to my Yahoo homepage. Yes, I'm the only one who still uses Yahoo, I believe, in the entire world. No, you get, my e- you get my emails. I have Yahoo. That's true. You do have Yahoo. So, um, And that's anyways, why we have this podcast because we both <laughs> we right? have Yahoo. It's the one thing we have in common. Yes. Um, but anyway, so I like see headlines. So I saw this headline about Chloe saying no, 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 no to Tristan giving her a ring. So I had to know what that was about. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> the very important part of my day. Um, so anyway, so I clicked on it and it said like on a recent episode that he had like tried to give her a few gifts. Um, one you know, there was a necklace and then also there was like a ring that was a promise ring that she was like upset about. And, um, she was happy, I guess, with the card. She'd always wanted a card from him, I guess. I don't know. That was, that's what she said. Yeah. And then she was like, they were saying in the article, like, but if, but if he thinks this is going to help, however, she's not buying it. And she said something like, do you think I'm going to give you um, a chance to allow this to happen a third time or something like that, which, yeah, I mean, that makes sense for her to say. So, yeah, I was just surprised. Like, it is so, okay. So, Jamie, do you, so you don't have Twitter, you don't have Instagram, and you're, no. you're basically never on Facebook. No, I am on Facebook a lot. I never see you on Facebook. Okay. Well, um, I, I don't, I don't post a lot of things on Facebook, but I do look on Facebook. Uh, okay. A good amount, yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, I should. Uh, yeah, it's a problem. Well, yeah. I mean, Facebook to me seems like the sane place. It's not really that bad, but okay. So it's funny that you would bring this up because Tristan Thomas is basically a fucking stalker. Every time Khloe Kardashian posts anything on Instagram, which is like just pictures, he is like sending her messages like so beautiful. And this is just like nonstop. He wants oh to get gosh. back together with her so bad and honestly my like probably unpopular opinion is I think she will get back together with him well the fact that she said like oh I've always wanted a card I did think that was interesting yeah I mean Um, but also like to me here's my thought on that though I didn't see this episode because I like I watch the Kardashians kind of like on and off Uh, like mm -hmm. if I know something crazy is gonna happen I'll watch it like now I'll probably go watch this episode since, since you brought this up but yeah, I mean, to me, it's like if the if the one thing that you're like my baby daddy, who I love, and I moved to fucking Cleveland for, like, ugh, sorry. Wait, she who... still doesn't live there. No, does she? but she did. Oh, like she okay. did. You're no, I know she did. Chloe yeah. Kardashian, and you're like, I'm gonna move to Cleveland. Like, what the fuck? So I, anyway. Well, I mean, she did move to Dallas for Lamar too. I mean, it's not like sure. she hasn't done it before. But I, I know, but like, first of all, like. Cleveland, Dallas, Chicago. Like, if it's like if I married like a like a nice guy who I loved, and he was like, Iris, I need you to move to Dallas. I'd be like, okay, cool. If you were like, I need you to move to Cleveland, I just don't know if I could do that. I don't like it. I don't like. Yeah, it. there not, is like a funny me. video you can find on YouTube that's kind of making fun of Cleveland. It's like a tourist video. I just don't it's really think it's. Funny. It's just not for me. That's probably mm-hmm. – that. see, now I'm the bad person in this episode because I'm just like, I don't think that I want to move to Cleveland. Even I don't think I would want to move to Cleveland either. I'm with you on that. Yeah. So anyway, like yeah. – but if I move to Cleveland for you – and another thing about Lamar is Lamar was so sweet to Chloe. Like even though he was a drug addict who likes prostitutes and also is a sex addict, I think that – she like he was very nice to her so I don't think she realized all the problems until like they just started shitting out of control and she couldn't avoid seeing them anymore you think he was nice to her because he kept everything that he did a secret no no no. I'm not saying he was genuinely nice to her like at its core but I think on a surface level for her like not having 2020 vision just Mm. looking at the relationship on the surface I think Lamar was nice to her I think he treated her well obviously he didn't treat her well but I just think based on like what she saw at the moment Mm -hmm. she would have been like okay this is like he's treating me really well but like to say that you wish somebody would have just written you a letter and that's what you've always wanted that is that's not even on a surface level good like what she had with Lamar obviously had some deep issues of shit clearly 
But mm-hmm. this doesn't even sound like it was good on the surface if the one thing you always wanted for him to do was to write you a letter. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I mean, I mentioned already that I don't give gifts. I, I not, that's not one of my love languages. And I really don't understand cards because to me, it's kind of like, do you like what I picked out that somebody else wrote for you? So I'm I mean, sorry, it's Jamie, weird. Are you just saying that you didn't like the card that I got you for your birthday? No, I did like it. Wow. You wrote something you wrote something in there that was significant, so you made it your own. I always write something in do. cards. You can't just give someone a card. Okay, anyway. A lot of people do that. Listen, I think like that's, that. that's a whole nother issue. You can't just give someone a fucking <laughs> card. Like, you have to write them something. Yeah, I don't know. And you know me with the environment, so I'm just not like about paper, you know? That's true. It's not my but thing. I do but keep no, my your card was though. really wonderful, and I just still have it. And it, Thank you. I have all of my cards forever. Like I keep them. I wow, them. really? I do. Like wait oh until next gosh. year. Wait Your until four you come... kids. When no, it's gonna be all... great. They're gonna inherit all this stuff. I, uh, I, they can throw it away when I die. I don't care about that. It's fine. It's a lot of work to throw that stuff away. <laughs> fine. And then just write it in my will that you can hire one of those like dump people, like the people who come when you're a hoarder. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. I've used those people before. <laughs> All right. Well, see, yeah, those people just have them come and they can throw out all my shit. But I like keeping the cards because I think it's nice when I mean, I've never gotten a card where someone wrote nothing, though. So I feel like really? probably no, you're I've never... kidding me. No, Jamie, I'm not. OK, in my family, we just don't write stuff. I, I always did. But well, I feel like if you don't write something, then it's OK to just not give me a card because then it's like, that's uh, fine. Unless it's just, like, a really funny card that you thought I needed. Like, for instance, that card that we saw at World Market that you loved. I would have just given oh you that Oh, my card, gosh. Because you just loved that it. That card was so funny. It was Yeah. Funny. See, that was, like, good for you. You liked that. But, okay, okay. Anyway, the review of the week is that Tristan Thompson is gross and a really probably bad. I think he just needs to give up. I mean... I don't but why give up when it's probably going to work? I kind of don't believe that uh, it's that it's not going to work. Uh, I, I guess that's true. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know what else to say. Yeah. Nothing else to say that poor Chloe, she's going to be trapped down the rabbit hole with this fucking guy for the third time. And that's just how he is. I think he just can't help himself. Maybe he needs to get like sex therapy. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot more I could talk about with that, but um, I'm not. I I have friends and colleagues who are sex therapists. I'm not, so I wouldn't be an authority on that. But yeah, I I'm mean, an authority I think he on definitely. Sex oh, okay. Yeah, Good. I'm I'm an authority on sex therapy. He needs to go. <laughs> Done. <laughs> well, I mean, I think he there are there are obviously things he can work on. Like there are ways that he can grow as a person. I hope he knows that. <laughs> um, I mean, I think everybody can grow. Please write him a message. Like you should get him a card and you should write that as a card. Tristan, I just hope that you know that there are ways that you can grow as a person. I love Jamie. Meant with the best of intentions. Best of intentions. Okay. That is all we have time for, but hopefully you enjoyed this random conversation and join us next time. What is our first episode about, Jamie? Do you remember? (gasps) Oh, I'm supposed to know this. Um... I think it's about New Year's, right? Yes, New Year's, it's gonna be New Year's about resolutions. And- New Year's and New Year's resolutions, and also the time that Jamie went to a meditation camp in which she could not talk. A medita- <laughs> yes, a meditation camp. Yeah. It was a retreat, but yeah. Whatever. Sounds sort of, of, yeah, sounds sort of like, like a camp. Sounds horrible. Where she yeah. was not allowed to talk, use her phone, or even like fucking write shit down. Like it was yeah. basically. Or eye, eye, eye contact. No eye contact either. Well, so it sounds yeah. horrible. So if you and like I did to- all of those things while I was there. So don't worry. <laughs> if I, you'd I, like I to hear more about you know, Jamie I breaking the rules inside yeah. the horrible, in, like the fucking, I'm going to think of a word when we come back about the horrible camp that you were sent torture. to. Yeah, torture camp. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you so much. Uh, have a good week, everyone. And we'll talk to you soon. January 9th, I think, is the first episode release date. Does that sound right? January 9th? Sure. Okay, talk to you guys (laughs) January 9th. All right, talk to you.